everyone, welcome to tonight's cooking class. My name's Jen Laurie. I'm an executive director with Epicure. I've been with Epicure for 11 years. And what I love most about Epicure is the fact that we can make quick and easy, delicious meals that are made fast and also are healthy for us. So we're talking about way less sodium, sugar. A lot of our products don't have any sodium or any sugar in them. Uh, none of the additives, preservatives, no hydrogenated oils. These are all things commonly found in the packages you buy in the grocery store shelves. So this is just quick and easy, healthy meals. I have four teenage kids and my husband and a house full of pets. So if we do have any noise, that's where it's coming from. So uh, we're gonna go through and make a really awesome, quick, easy, budget-friendly meal tonight. So where I found this meal plan, because Epicure has all kinds of different meal plans to make your life easier. Meals that come together quick and easy, they come with grocery lists, all the things. So going through the catalog, when you're looking through the catalog, you will notice some really cool features of the catalog. So a couple of cool features of the catalog are the fact that we have spreads, uh, meal spreads. And with these meal spreads, come with a whole meal plan for you to follow with the grocery list and everything. There's a QR code that's gonna take you to the meal plans. If you want a copy of the paper catalog, make sure you let me know, comment down below and let me know that you want a paper copy. I would love to connect with you and send you out a paper copy. If you want the online link to the catalog and you're having trouble finding it, let me know in the comments. Just comment with online link, please. And I will definitely hook you up with the online link so you can really go through the catalog because the catalog is a beautiful way to go through and really see how the products are used and get an idea of what you might like to bring into your kitchen. So tonight, the meal plan that I'm choosing is called Frugal Feast. So with the meal plan, it's called Frugal Feast. And so it is one of the one of the top budget friendly, family friendly meals that everybody loves. And it is with our classic meatloaf. So it shows you what you need right here. Classic meatloaf, the herb and garlic seasoning, and the three onion dip mix. Some of our top selling products right there. And all of these are gonna be, this is gonna be able to make a meal for less than $3 a plate. So that includes all your grocery store items, your Epicure, all of it. And so that's gonna be a really low cost per serving. On the second page comes your grocery list. So you can quickly add it to your groceries, what you need, make sure you have what you need. And then uh, what we need in here, uh, I'm noticing that I need one more ingredient, but that's okay. Uh, so we have, so I'm gonna go through and just make these three, three recipes with you. So it comes after the grocery list, it has three different, recipes so i'm gonna walk through these recipes with you and show you how quick and easy and fast and show you some of the tools that make it super easy to make these meals that helps you along the way so first things first is i'm going to get this water boiling so i have our multi-purpose pot here it has an amazing pour spout so it's going to drain really easily we have uh strainers in the lid two different sizes so that's going to make it easy but our three onion buttery beans is one of our recipes and we're going to get this oven started we're going to get the the stove top started i'm just going to bring that to a boil we're just gonna let that bring to a boil. That's the first step that I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna come on over here and I'm gonna take a look. I'm actually got started a few minutes before I clicked start on our record on the video because the potatoes, the potatoes are super fast and easy. So I wanna ask you a question. Have you ever made potatoes and they've boiled over on the stove before? I don't know a single person who answers no to that. I think we've all done that before. So what my steamer, so this is a multi-purpose steamer. It's our host number one top pick for half price items because our hosts get half price and discounted products. They get free products, they get half price items, they get exclusive offers. And this is one of the top picks for hosts. So with this, all I had to do is I cut my potatoes up into quarters and I didn't even peel them because I you lots of nutrients in the peel. I just gave them a wash. I'm using yellow potatoes so the skin is super thin and gonna mash right in there, no problem. So I'm just going to check and see. I'm gonna see if they're done. But I had it in there just for 10 minutes. 
just for 10 minutes and we don't add any water so there's not gonna be any water boil over and I'm just checking to see how soft they are to see if they're ready to mash up I'm gonna put them in just for a couple more minutes. So they're just gonna take a couple more minutes. So each microwave is different. And I actually am cooking up a little bit more than what's in the recipe because my teenage boys, some of them love potatoes and they're gonna eat extra. So I made up a little bit of extra. So it's gonna take just a couple more minutes. So I'm gonna pop these back in the microwave for two minutes. But again, it's a waterless steamer. I didn't add any water. I just cut the potatoes up and then put them in the steamer and cook it, that's it. And then we're gonna add our seasonings and stuff, we're gonna mash it all up right in the steamer and we're gonna be able to serve right from the steamer. So next what I'm gonna work on while I'm waiting for that water to boil is I'm gonna start getting my meatloaf ready because my meatloaf has gotta go in right away too. And typically meatloaf can take like an hour or I don't know, it can take a long time. It can take an hour to cook if you're cooking in the oven with the microwave, it's gonna take six minutes. So quick and easy, I'm gonna use our silicone mini muffin pans, but you can also use our silicone rectangular steamer. It is super easy to do. Um, again, all of our silicone can go in the oven up to 425 degrees or in the microwave. So whichever is your preference, if you've got all the time in the world and you wanna go ahead and put it in your oven, you go ahead. If you want to make it quick and easy, put it in your microwave. The texture, flavor, everything is going to be the same no matter which way you cook it. So you don't have to worry about it being different. It's whatever your preferences and whatever your timeline is. So I've got a pound of ground beef in here and I'm going to add a get an egg, which I have to grab <clears throat> an egg, the seasoning and water. That's it. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of water in there. So two tablespoons of water. The seasoning. The seasoning mix. And an egg. Grab an egg quick. Oh, I need an egg. Mark, can you grab me an egg? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna get an egg going here, but first, first I'm just gonna start mashing this up. So we just mash this up and then um, I'm going to mix this all together. I'm going to add the egg in just a moment because I was short an egg. So uh, my husband is just going to grab some eggs from the basement fridge for me and uh, be able to put an egg in here. So I guess we ate all the eggs at breakfast time this morning. <laughs> so luckily we have two fridges and have extra. It wouldn't be the end of the world if I didn't put an egg in here, but I do want to follow the recipe. It's one. so good. Yeah, just one egg. Thank you. All right. All right, so I'm gonna just continue to mix this up and then all I'm gonna have to do is put those in the mini muffin pans. So in the silicone mini muffin pans, and then I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. We're gonna make a sauce to put on top, and then we're gonna cook it for just two more minutes after that. And that's just following the recipe right on the back of the package. So there is oven instructions and microwave instructions on the back. So in the oven, if you were to cook it in the oven, it's gonna take 35 to 45 minutes, and in the microwave, it takes six minutes. So Again, your choice. How much time do you have and what do you want to do? Do you want to, you know, get it done and be done and be fast? That's totally depends on whatever you want. And once that water is boiling, I'm going to throw the beans in there for four minutes. I usually do my vegetables in the steamer, but I'm assuming with this meal plan here that the instructions have told me to use my multi-purpose pot so that my microwave can be free for the other items that we're cooking. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the potatoes because they should be done. I'm just gonna 
pull those out, put them there for now. Put the lid on so it can continue steaming. And then I'm going to press these in here and then pop them into my microwave. So I just kind of pressed the meatloaf down into the pan or into the bowl flat so that I can kind of eyeball a quarter to put, to try and put as, as best I can even amounts into each of these. And then we'll pop them in the microwave for four minutes. Four minutes, can you believe it? That's, that's it. I was like questioning the recipe when I first saw it because it was like four minutes to cook meatloaf. That's insane. But these mini loaf pans make a great, it's a great way to just have that perfect portion. So whether you're cooking for a big family or a small family, you can cook and, and easily portion your leftovers. And I know for my family, when I am cooking this as a meal when everybody is home, I usually double the recipe and I do one batch in my rectangular steamer and I make um, everyone eats from that first and then we, if, if, if anybody's still hungry, then they're allowed to dig into the, the uh, perfectly portioned ones in the mini loaf pan and then uh, that's kind of the way I roll and then we usually have a couple extra but usually a couple of them get dug into. Okay. So my water is boiling here. It says salted water. So I'm going to grab my salt grinder here and just do some grinds into there. And then I'm going to actually put these in right at the same time because it said four minutes for both. So they're going to be done both at the exact same time. Now we're gonna make up the sauce. So with the sauce, here's what we need. Oh, I've got the potatoes too. So I'm gonna make the sauce really quick, and then we're gonna make the um, and then we're gonna make the, the potatoes. So with the sauce, I needed ketchup. So I've got three tablespoons of ketchup here. I need a teaspoon of brown sugar and a teaspoon of honey mustard. I'm just gonna grab, I love our four-in-one spice spoons because they're super easy to grab from your drawer and just take what you need because often what I find in kitchens is that we're always trying to find the right measurement and we can't seem to find the right measurement. So I love that with this spoon, oh, I just put it in the wrong thing. <laughs> Whoops, okay, so that's gonna just have a little bit of mustard in it. It's all good. I've had trouble talking and doing this at the same time. So my potatoes are gonna have a hint of mustard. It's probably not gonna be bad at all. Just don't tell my family. Okay, so I have this amazing mini whisk too, I'm telling you. So making little sauces and stuff is perfect. So it's just ketchup, honey mustard, and I believe it was honey mustard, that's what I used honey mustard, and brown sugar. And then once those come out of the microwave, I'm going to just brush this on top of the meatballs and put them back in for two more minutes. Okay. Okay. Here's my potatoes. So, now I'm gonna double check that my potatoes are good and fully cooked and ready to be mashed. They are good to go. So it took 12 minutes to do six large potatoes, super fast. And so I'm just gonna follow along this recipe. So steamer mashed potatoes, we've got the potatoes washed, quartered, steamed, and now we just add milk, butter. You can use a dairy-free butter, dairy-free milk, if that is your preference 
go for it. Use the, use the different things. Apparently a little bit of honey mustard today is going to go in there also. And then I'm going to grab my herb and garlic and I'm going to grab two tablespoons of my herb and garlic. And then I'm going to actually use my meat separator to mash my potatoes. I love this meat separator. I use it for so many different things. I use it for, uh, of course, separating like ground meat. I even, when I make my chicken fajitas in the steamer, I use it to break up my chicken so that I can easily grab what I need for my, for my chicken. I also use it for mashing my potatoes. I use it for uh, mashing up for guacamole. So you can mash up your guacamole with this meat separator as well. What I found is I had one of those kind of traditional uh, potato mashers that kind of fit awkwardly into my drawer and get caught on it on the, be caught up in there constantly. It drove me absolutely crazy. And when I discovered that I could mash my potatoes with this, I was so happy to just get rid of one extra tool and have more space in my in my drawer. So that's a tip for you. If you are like me and like less is more, this is a must have tool. However, it's going to help you get rid of a different tool in your kitchen so that you can have multifunction. I love that Epicure is all about multifunction tools. So I've got this almost done. So I'm going to continue mashing it in just one sec. I'm going to pull these out and put the sauce on top. So I'm just going to put a spoonful and kind of spread it over the top of each of these. I'm going to finish mashing these and then we're going to put the, we're going to strain the beans. They're looking good. I just want to see if they're cooked enough. I usually use my steamer. Like I said, I usually use my steamer, so I'm scared I won't have them cooked enough, but they're still tender crisp, so I don't want them soggy either. It's so much easier just to steam them in my steamer in my microwave because I never have to worry about them getting soggy. But here's my potatoes, they're done. So I could mash them up more if I wanted, but I think they're good. I'll show you what they look like. That's what my potatoes look like. So they're all done. I'm gonna put the lid on them so that they stay uh, somewhat warm for now. And then I'm gonna move on to following the recipe. Oh, everything goes by so fast with these recipes. So I'm going to drain it and I'm going to actually, it says to keep a quarter cup of the reserve water. So I'm going to keep a quarter cup of the reserve water. I'm using the one cup prep bowls because there's measurements right on there. And then I'm going to strain it, strain the rest out. Using my multi-purpose pot makes it super easy. I'm not straining my wrist. Now it says to throw it in another bowl to stir it, but I don't figure that I need to do that because this I can serve it right out of this pot. I don't need a separate container. So I'm actually going to put everything right in there. So I put a quarter cup of the reserve water, a tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna put two tablespoons of the three onion mix in there with the beans. So this recipe is called three onion buttery beans. My meatloaf is done. 
So I'm gonna just stir this up and then the whole meal has come together just like that. Super fast, super easy. Oh wow, that looks really good. I'm actually gonna, yeah, I wanna show you what it looks like. I have to take some pictures and post them for you, but they look delicious. They smell amazing. So some fresh garden beans, and I've got my mashed potatoes here, and now I've got my meatloaf coming out as well. I'm just gonna make room over here in my mini muffin pans. My meatloaf is ready. They're a little bit warm. Well, they're hot, but if I touch just the edge, it's not too bad. So that's it, super fast, super easy. Another meal come together, raw and ready, 20 minutes or less using Epicure. Epicure tools, Epicure products, they're fast, they're easy, they're delicious, and they are healthy for you. If you are looking to uh, get some free products, I'd love to set up a cooking class link for you so that you can help your friends and family be inspired to eat delicious, healthy meals and help me to get the word out on how easy it is to save money, eat well, and create some delicious meals that your family will love. If you are looking for an opportunity to create some extra income at home, I am looking for people in your area that would be interested in checking out this opportunity, and I've got a link to share with you to give you more information. So make sure you reach out or comment below if you'd like some information. I can send you a link so you can check it out for yourself and see if this might be an opportunity that you want to take a look deeper into and see if it's something that might be a good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.